So essentially, what happened was, <laughs> what had happened was, I was pulling some cards to get to know definitely even the minor arcana better. And I was like, let me do a little reading and just see what's going on here with the general energy right now. And what ended up happening was that some major messages were coming through and I was like, in spirits like, oh, go live, let people know about this. Um, this was unexpected for me. Cause I was like, I'm gonna do this. This will be like a little Instagram video. Just giving people a general read on the energies. So as I started clarifying what I pulled, I was like, hold up, let me go live and let me like, let people know. Cause this is some major, these are some major shifts that are coming through. So the first thing that I pulled was the seven of swords uh, reversed. Oh, you can see it pretty good actually, right? So I pulled the seven of swords reversed and seven of swords reversed specifically um has to do with um individuals who think they're getting away with something uh somebody who hey what's up joe somebody who is deceitful is the de is deceitful is deceiving uh seven of swords has to do with somebody who thinks they're getting away with something i am live if you share the video i'd appreciate it by the way um, in a group or whatever. I can't share anything. I can't, and I can't post in groups this week. Not even my own group because I don't know. My, my, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I shared too much. Uh, so it kind of glitched out on me. Um, so yeah, the Seven of Swords came through and I was like, okay. So what may happen at this time, uh, if you're the individual that has secrets that maybe feel, starting to feel bad about something um you're starting to have sort of a conscious about it you're going to be telling your secrets essentially you're going to be telling the truth you're going to be like just clearing the air it's like it's like just letting it go clearing the air uh stepping into a new energy if you're if you've been honest with yourself honest with others then what's going to come into you at this time is that people are just going to like I, you know, I, I said this about you and I, I felt so bad or people start telling you the truth as far as um, how this energy is moving. Uh, so that's the seven of swords. People are going to start, you'll see who's being deceptive. You'll see who's being um, deceitful. Uh, that's the energy right now. And this Scorpio energy really brought a lot of that to the surface. So um, this is this this card came out first, and I was like, okay, that's a shift. So then we got the two of wands reversed. Was the next card. Um, so it's, this story is incredible right now, and there's even some relationship drama there. It's just like drama, 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 and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What have you guys been up to? So. Two of Wands reversed is uh, usually means you have a decision to make. Um, you have some sort of uh, some sort of big decision, whether it be in relationships, business. Uh, you don't and you you whether you're making a move, whether you want to travel. It could be a decision in anything, and it's like you you can sort of stay stay in the relationship you're in, or you could sort of go where you go and. You essentially are starting a full journey, so to speak, where you're just kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to go and I'm going to see what ends up happening. Now, we have a reverse. So this is a fear of change coming up. Uh, the Scorpio energy, this whole retrograde and everything really has brought a lot of our fears to the surface. So the fear of change is coming up. Um, you may be ignoring warning signs in certain relationships because you want to stay comfortable. You're like, oh, I'm good where I'm at. I'm comfortable. I'm complacent. But it's like, that's not following your passion. That's not going to follow. You're not going to be following your destiny. You're going to be actually hindering yourself by, by not making a decision, by not being decisive and by not following really what your soul's journey, true journey, true mission in this reality is, um, so that's why this was coming in reverse. Um, some self-doubt. You you might be afraid of the future. So this is telling you, like, don't be afraid of the future. You got so many good things coming. So then the next thing 
The next card that came up was Ace of, let's see if I can get it good without it being too bright. I don't feel like turning the light off, come on. Ah, there we go. A little better, let's see maybe this side. Eh, 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 I'll just turn it off. <laughs> Whatever, anyway, Ace of Swords, right? There we go, Ace of Swords. Uh, and this is, I actually love, I love the crown. The crown on the top of this card with the, the you know, all the greenery coming out of it really stuck out to me. Um, so that's really, Swords deals with communication. So that's really like being in your power. That's really um, new ideas are coming in as far as business. Uh, new ways of thinking, new, new, a new reality is opening up to you. So this is what's available at this time. Uh, you might get an idea for business. You might get an amazing idea for um, selling something that you would never thought of, offering a new service, um, starting a new job. You might get a promotion in the job that you're in based on you coming with a new expansive perspective. So that's really valuable at this time. Um, and this means that, uh, legal matters, uh, legal matters could be going in your favor. Also on a side note, facing new challenges in relationships, however. You think that's what she's going through right now? Um, but yeah, Ace of Swords, and I love the crown. So then right after the Ace of Swords, we have the... Queen of Wands coming up. So the Queen of Wands, and what stuck out to me was the sunflowers. And then it's like that black cat, which is like your intuition, your inner guiding system, is, is standing in front of your position as sort of a guardian. So when you follow your intuition, you, you become the Queen of Wands. So this is a, a woman that is, and for the men, you could be having a woman coming into your life that's like this. Uh, for the women, you could really just be, be embodying this energy or have the option to embody this energy and become this sort of woman um, where you're like sitting on your throne, you're, you're funny, you're like funny, you're lively, you're expansive, uh, you're, you know, you're this, you're, you're really embodying this joy. Um, optimistic full of energy and uh, a lot of people are having energy at this time based on uh, just just in in areas of business and areas of thought the fact the ace of swords with the queen of wands is a great omen uh, because those energies together just bring in a lot of new ideas new abilities and things of that nature that are going to really really you have the gift of being able to think clearly and create your new um, reality uh i buy my deck decks on amazon i have some let me see if i can grab you a link really quick because i have i have affiliate links i figure i might as well tell people where i get but this particular deck let me grab the link for it and i'll put it in the chat this is just a tarot deck it's based on the traditional writer deck it's the um universal weight tarot deck deck the images are a little more uh colorful in this particular deck so this is uh this all right uh tarot deck boom so you'll have it the link there that's a short link there you go hopefully that works does the link work hold up let me try this again Oh, there it is. It works. All right, cool. Um, okay, but see, this is what I'm saying. So the Queen of Wands in her, there's like a multi-dimensional message as far as like business goes, as far as a career, as far as relationships. Because then we get this is this is a weird thing. Because um, you're welcome, Erica, and thank you. You're you're an absolute pleasure. I haven't seen you in a while, so we gotta get together soon, girl. Uh, so we have the King of Swords in reverse, right? I was like, is this a love reading? Is this a, it's a multidimensional sort of situation. I was like, how are we getting the King of Swords reversed right now? Oh, another thing with the Queen of Wands is she may have a lot to juggle, which might make her a little, you know, a little like snappy sometimes, especially because you have so many different things you're doing. I'm, I, I know I'm definitely in that 
<laughs> energy like seriously and I'm gonna take out the clarifying cards because I got a clarifying card over the king of pentacles because right after the right after the king of swords in reverse we get the king of pentacles so like somebody's coming with an offering whether it be a business parser, partner whether we're embodying this energy and that with the queen of wands with the ace of swords energy backing you up you could do any you can manifest anything at this time that's really satisfying um on a physical spiritual level um okay king of swords i wrote notes on this because i'm because i'm learning like you guys are learning uh so the king of swords is a lack of structure reversal because it's reversed it came upside down a uh, lack of structure or routine uh intelligence used in a self-defeating way um so this is an individual that is manipulative um but they don't manipulate in order to like uplift people like like they use their intellect to sort of like get what they want and then they don't care how other people feel about it they're they're very um they could come off as friendly but internally they're very cold uh, very narcissistic very manipulative uh judgmental um intelligent and talkative see this is when i was reading the meanings i was like this is interesting so intelligent and talkative but uses the quality to manipulate or hurt others so this is either an energy or a specific person that's coming in to sort of that sort of opposes the queen of wands energy and i was like okay what's going on here spirit but even though this person is sort of might be emotionally abusive or it could even represent a uh, mindset that we had that was self-defeating for ourselves um so then right after that we have my guy is one of my favorite cards every time he comes up i'm like oh you're here and you have a gift <laughs> king of pentacles king of pentacles hey there hey and look at him looking all delicious looking all like he's about to like he's about to level you up uh so the king of pentacles comes in and this represents a what is going oh <laughs> that was weird uh this represents a mature grounded male uh the king of pentacles also represents so this could even be oh be, mm, some decisions between two pe two different men for some women <laughs> right now that's one thing so that's what i'm saying like i was like what is going on like this is like a lot of different uh energies at one time so i was like spirit what the fuck uh you, you got a little got a little triangle here a little love triangle but the king of pentacles mature grounded good in business it could be a business partnership actually coming in um it could be working with new people uh maybe dealing with a new network of friends a new situation that just happens to be more prosperous um uh, provider someone who's a provider but not frivolous with their wealth so right after that, now I'm going to put the clarifying card on top of that because the clarifying card for that is interesting, um, actually. So right after that, we got the uh, death card, but it's death in reverse. So the death card, oh, okay. Oh, okay, no worries. Uh, so the this thing, the, my camera went off by itself, first of all, the light, I was like, okay whatever um i'll turn it off right now actually really quick so you guys see this so we have the death card in reverse now the death card when this comes up it basically is just representing transformation um so based on the decision that we are making um we are sort of resisting the internal transformation that is available at this time and that's really what Scorpio brought us was the um, the ability to this the the full the full moon we just had and I know we're going into Sagittarius now that should be interesting um, the ability to really just let go of the things that are hard for us to let go of and a lot of people decided that they wanted to stick with their old ways of thinking old communication patterns old um maybe stay in that relationship that you're supposed to leave maybe um maybe you and your partner 
you know, you guys are supposed to elevate your relationship to a new level. And instead of staying in the energy of, okay, well, let's see what we can do so that we can both be better, so that we can both be more in alignment and more balanced, uh, somebody might have sort of dropped the ball and, and backslid into their old habits. And that's that's what makes what's happening right now complicated because everything's everything that is holding you back within your own self is being shown to you and and you have the gift of either accepting it and then and then doing the work that you need to do in order to really create that internal change so that 2020 could be your best year ever going forward and um where you could actually get to a space within yourself that that during 2020 you're you're falling more into alignment with really what your soul purpose soul mission is what your most fulfilling life would be um okay so right after the death card in reverse which means somebody's putting up a bit of a fight resistance so what this resistance ends up doing we got the two of cups in reverse that's some sneaky shit when you get the two of cups in reverse whoa so the two of cups two of cups usually is a coming together um whether it be business relationships friendships soul families um the two of cups upright is people coming together so so the resistance to the change that is required at this time is causing a disconnection and imbalance uh those some people in their relationships or the, the girl who has two choices the, or the woman who has really that queen of wands who has those two choices one of those relationships is imbalanced where they might be putting out more than the other person emotionally uh they might be more invested in that um it's so it's unequal it's, it's not you're not equally yoked or it's really choosing somebody who's not uh for you so okay and there was a there was there was the high priestess in reverse to clarify that but I don't want to get into my reversals right now so then that leads to we have the eight of swords and you see how this person is bound or tied up and then the, and then the eight of swords is, is creating a restriction where this person's actually sort of blocked in um so then what's what's happening is that the inability to make a decision the inability to change is is really causing at this time at this time it's like a feeling of uh, 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 where you're just sort of like I don't, I don't know I, I um, well, you can't make a decision and it's causing certain individuals to feel sort of frozen sort of out of balance sort of frozen and um, and yeah so essentially that that's what it leads to it's an indecisiveness there was another what else did I write oh being silenced or censored so it's not it's like it's like not feeling like and even how I'm talking right now is silent censored you see that's that same energy um, but it's the inability inability to be your most authentic self right now um, and it's a restriction that we put on ourselves and it's a past um, mentality that's just resurfacing because a lot of us haven't been told how wonderful our uniqueness is and that the world is a better place when you operate from your uniqueness so based on your own preconceived notions you're blind blind she's blindfolded in this and bounded and then has all these swords around her um you're blind to the fact that your uniqueness and just being the most authentic expression of yourself will actually lead you to be in alignment with what your soul purpose truly is um so then I started pulling clarifying cards because I was like, this is a crazy story right now. I was like, there's love, there's money, there's betrayal. Like, what the fuck is going on? So the first thing I look at is King of Pentacles. We have over the King of Pentacles, based on, I guess, this indecisiveness, we have, um, whoa, the Ace of Cups reversed. And doesn't it look like it's crying? I was like, what the fuck? Now, let me look. I, Cause I actually don't know what Ace of Cups means, but I will find out right now. I know Cups is dealing with emotions, but 
to have an eights of cups uh, reversed. Boom. Everybody else is on this. <laughs> I'm so happy so many people have this already. Let's see what we got. Now, upright, it's a good a good omen. So our indecisiveness is causing an eights of, uh, an eights of cups reversed over our gifts. Sadness, pain, unrequited love. <gasps> the king of pentacles. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, shit. Issues, breakups, bad news, cancel celebrations, or social events. Is the king of pentacles coming through as, like, a fake king of pentacles? This shit is getting... Blocked repressed emotions, bad or upsetting news... I think it's a blocking of blessings. Hold up, I'm gonna look at the spiritual meaning real quick. Blocking or oppressing your intuition. That's, see, I'll be on point, low key. Cause that's what I was thinking. Feeling disconnected from spirit. Okay, so being, so being the king of pentacles, being this king of pentacles, or the king of pentacles himself, being in really your humanity and you know doing what you got to do to make money and and you're still an upstanding person king of pentacles but and you're still making money and you still have an offer or a gift but dealing with the humanity is blocking the expansion that you could be having and this is why we're having our ace of cups come reversed so it's about balancing the spiritual world and the physical world becoming the the middle pillar um you know becoming the the or like a bridge and i always look at it like a pillar or a bridge in between two things so somebody's knocking on my door um so you have to come back because i'm not answering so then i pulled again and the two of cups the two of cups was clarified by the high priestess in reverse which is the same thing essentially as the ace of cups they came through reversed. That's blocking our intuition. Um, and, and what that means is that there's a situation that you may not be aware of at this time, or that you're not using your, you're being disconnected from or not using your intuition or your discernment in order to understand what other people's motives or intentions truly are. Um, okay, so we have this Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, Y'all, this is ridiculous. It was clarified by the Ten of Swords, <laughs> which made me laugh. I was like, the Ten of Swords. Let me look, because I already looked that up before, but I'll look again. Not 19. What the fuck? Exactly. Could have came through the back the whole time. That's why I wasn't answering. Um... Okay, so the Ten of Swords is like literally getting stabbed in the back. It's, um, the Ten of Swords is betrayal, enemies, abandonment, um, hitting a wall, dead end, severing ties, goodbye, nail in the coffin. I mean, like, this is like being dramatic. So, I mean, first, at first you're blindfolded. You don't know what to do, right? This is fucked up. So, now you have all these decisions of first you're blindfolded. You don't know what to do. And now you're just, it's like, fuck it. You're just going to get stabbed in the back by all these swords because you're not using your intuition. So to really understand who's who. Um, and that's why we also had that death card. That's, that's having the resistance to the transformation that wants to give you that queen of wands energy, that king of swords um, reversal was whatever, but that queen, queen of wands, that ace of, that Ace of Swords energy, uh, so that you could really be on your path, the resistance to change for the better, for yourself, is causing a sort of, um, it's causing like a death, this is like doing it the hard way. That's what Spirit came through, doing it the hard way. Now, let's see if we got something else that wants to clarify the, let's clarify the, I don't really feel like I need to clarify anymore. Should I, sh shall I pull oracle cards? I think I might pull, I'm feeling oracle cards. Oracle cards is what spirit is like. 
Yes, I keep I have a have this bag. I just I've been putting just my cards in it. So let's do some oracle cards and see what we have. Because we got a lot of a lot of this clarified. And now how to get back on track is like the next thing, right? Whoa, wow. My, my shuffling skills have gotten incrementally worse. And these are easy to shuffle too. How do you get back on track? What What is the Queen of Wands going to do with her decision? She's got... You know what? I really want... Hold on. I really want to clarify this because... Okay. What's good with this King of Swords really quick? Before I get into the Oracle cards. Whoa, what's up here in the front? Mmm. Mmm. Four cups. And look at this dude. Oh, wow. This is interesting. He's like complacent. So, four cups clarifying our King of Swords. Hmm. He's complacent. It's like he doesn't want to take the offer. And he looks kind of pissed up pissed off right now um let me get into my oracle cards too though contemplation oh i think our four of cups is starting to turn over a new leaf he got into that death energy so this man who was being the king of swords is transforming now he's taking some time to think about what Oh, this is an overall reading. It's a general energy. I was going to do this for my Instagram, and then Spirit told me to come on um, live and do it. So these energies can resonate in a, in a multitude of different ways. Because it might be you, that you were the king of swords, and that you were, you, were, you were being a douchebag, essentially. And that you had decided that you maybe want to make a change. Reconsidering your emotions. Reconsidering what you've been doing. Reconsidering you know, how you've been acting. Um, hmm. I think that perhaps this King of Swords wants to change so he could be with the Queen of Wands. Because he knows you ain't getting the Queen of Wands but not with that attitude. It's interesting when you get into this because these cards always tell these crazy stories. Like, it's like a fucking cosmic drama. Perseverance came up. And that's big right now. I don't know if it's wise to preserve right now, though. Certain things. Prayer came up. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Um, this one here. Miracle. Beautiful. Uh, let's see what else we got coming in. I'm just gonna spend time with these, like these cards, and spend time with this acceptance. This is same shit. This is crazy. Although I, I am gonna clarify that Queen of Wands too, because that's hitting right now. I want to see what, what's going on with this story. Vanity. Vanity. That was that. That was that King of Pentacles. <sighs> His vanity. Oh boy. And then we have perception. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right in alignment. And let's pull one more of these. And then I'm going to switch to runes. Ah, perception leads to creation. So we have the ability to create with our gifts right now. Let me do this really quick too. Excuse me. I'm going to go through all this stuff in a second. Eight of Wands reversed, clarifying the Queen of Wands. So, well, it came out first. <laughs> Interesting. This is like a drama. Whoa. Hmm. Hysterical, impatient, impulsive, panicked, out of control dislike lack of passion excitement or romance oh so ooh, so it seems like some sort of betrayal happened or energetically whether it be within ourselves maybe things got a little crazy for the queen of wands so 
So right now, she's not herself. For the time being, it's not gonna stay like that though. All right, let me chill because I be getting so deep, so deep with this. I'm like, what, what, what's gonna happen next? Let's clarify the death card now. Oh, hard work, 10 of wands. 10 of wands, so, yep, that's doing the hard work there for the 10 of wands. 10 of wands upright, clarifying the death card. Mm-hmm, it's becoming burdened. Huge weight on your shoulders, being obligated, sad, and restricted. Yeah, because you're not just letting the transformation happen. Mm -hmm. So much resistance, so little time. It's like, are we going to die in resistance? We're just going to go with the flow and actually be happy. So what's the resolution? God sucks. Seven of Pentacles. Clarifying. Well, so I... Is clarifying the clarifying cards at this point. I'm gonna go through these oracle cards in a second too. And then we have the five of wands, okay, in reverse. The five of wands, okay, so things are gonna settle down a little bit if it's reversed. This feels like a Gemini energy. Oh, uh, I'm getting into a channel while I'm doing this, go figure. Oh, and then after it all, my friend came out, what you should have been doing all along what you should have been doing all along, just playing the fool. Playing the fool, keeping yourself in alignment with the correct energies. So after after all of this, the fool card comes out at the end. Because that's done. I had, to, I had to see the whole story. All right, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Um, okay, so lack of growth, setbacks, delays, frustration, impatience, not finishing what you started. Frustrating, a relationship is not, so that's like looking like fuck. Like, okay, that's why this dude looks like this in this card. Like, ooh, what the hell? But reverse, it's even like amplified. And he's like, man, nothing's nothing's growing the way that I anticipated. So, so and that's why with the Oracle cards, perseverance came out. So right, see, I was thinking, see, I'm happy I finished this because I was like, maybe right now is not a good time to be in that perseverance mode. But it's like, no, but with with what's in alignment with your soul, preserving right now makes sense because your victory, you're literally right around the corner from your victory. Um, okay. And that's going into 2020. And then I, yep. Yep, and this is ending. I knew it. So then the Five of Wands, because I know the Five of Wands now. So the Five of Wands came through to show that this is ending. As you're ending and making that decision and falling in alignment with yourself, you're going to end a lot of conflicts, a lot of issues, a lot of, so the answer is going to come. And then you're starting off 2020 as the fool. You're going to be starting off this next year. See, I didn't know where this reading was going. Spirit was like, just get on live and do it. I was like, okay. Um, so you're going to be starting 2020 as the fool. Now that all these old energies have cleared out and passed and you're no longer afraid of your destiny, it's like you're now getting to a space that you can embrace your destiny. But look look, look at all that it took. And, and you always... And it's like... It's like um, I just heard you got the juice like it's like you always had the juice or you always had the gift but you were just playing this game with yourself like do I stay do I go am I gonna be the person that I was or I'm scared I don't I don't know if I should move forward into this new reality I know what I want but like what will happen if if I if I can't make it happen what will happen if I what, what if I'm not good enough it's like all those doubts coming in and at the end of the day, you're, it's like you just, best decision to make, you're like, fuck it, you know what? 
I'm just gonna go into this and I'm just gonna see what happens because what's the worst that can happen? I fail. I'm already feeling like my life is a failure. So it's better that I just jump into it and see what happens with this next cycle. Whoa, that's intense. Okay, so then we also, for our Oracle cards, we had the prayer card came up and then after prayer came miracle. So that's really having that divine guidance with you. So you got the prayer card came up with perseverance. This is an interesting card. I'm gonna just look at the, yep, inquiry original thoughts are inspired by the angels. Same thing with having the, um, what was it? The ace of swords. So we're gonna be in our higher thoughts, higher um, abilities, awareness right now. We'll be able to draw in ideas and concepts and just money making level stuff. But the thing is, don't be afraid to move forward with what is coming to you because what's coming to you that's divinely inspired is for you. So follow through. Um, definitely follow through. There's a collaboration here and a willingness to change from a try letting go of control. Exactly. Boom. The Oracle cards came through to because uh, these 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 tarot cards got ratchet as hell real quick. It was like, whoa, whole drama. These came in to bring a little balance. Ah. Uh, beautiful. Be honest and forthright no matter what. With the energy of the sun, a miracle awaits. You instinctively know what is authentic. Trust this. That's why this miracle card came through. Because the miracle card is really coming through to tell us to tap into, the, the message is to tap into your authenticity and to remain authentic Whoa. at this time. And then look, right after that, we get the acceptance card. And the acceptance card has to do with love because the story of, I love, see, I love the story. Actually, actually, spirit, I'll just read the story associated. I'm, I'm feeling, because it's a good, it's a good story and it really teaches a lot. Okay. So the acceptance card story. When I accept myself, I find love. That's the gift right now. Cherry loves her work as a waitress, but feels that something is missing from her life. She has a boyfriend, yet she senses that he is unfaithful. Dun, dun, dun. One day, a customer orders cherry pie. Cherry cuts a slice and sighs to a friend that her life is like that pie with a slice missing. Her friend remarks that maybe cherry has a heart-shaped pie. Or maybe cherry is a heart-shaped pie. Cherry's perspective changes. And we got the perception card here, too, as well. She leaves her boyfriend and later meets a man who makes her happy. King of Pentacles, perhaps? Hmm? Maybe some there's some people here who are the King of Pentacles? Hmm? Maybe you're the, um, what was our other one? Our, uh, our King of Swords that, that, you know, is starting to change. Starting to think about his ways and want to, want to make a change. Wants to make a change. That's, <laughs> I'm getting the funniest channels right now. Um, okay, so, manifesting knowledge and luck. We're there. Um, this is accepting your own truth and your own authenticity at this time. That's a gift. And then right after that, an interesting thing happens. The vanity card comes up. So there is a lot of materialism and over excess happening right now and putting so much emphasis on the material that it's like people are forgetting about the spiritual. So I don't know if you guys seen some, um, some ratchetness disguised as glamorousness happening in your timelines, but that's probably a big theme right now where people are being ratchet, but then they're, they're, they're sort of disguising it. Let me just put these here. It's easier for me. Sort of disguising it as being glamorous or being, you know, uh, whatever deserving. I had a feeling my head was cut off. Let me pull this up like a little tiny bit. Um, this thing gets weird like that sometimes. My camera is on crack right now. All right, camera, chill the fuck out. All right, so then we have the um, vanity card coming through. And this is really making do with what you have and being happy with what you have. And um, it's, it's just really a warning card. 
tedious balance between what is true in our heart and what we communicate is reflected in aqua. And then we also know that at this time, people are starting to out themselves. Like they're, they're starting to communicate their truth, whether they want to or not. They might even just, I'm telling you, people who like have been thinking bad things about you, they're just gonna say shit and then they're probably gonna look and be like, I don't know where that came from. Or if you've been thinking bad things about people and you just haven't been honest with them, you might just get frustrated and just start telling motherfuckers the truth at this point. Um, are you communicating your truth or just playing along? This is a time of awakening, a new way of being. Be aware of distractions that may pull you away from the true you. Exactly. All right. Cool. And then we have, clarifying that, the uh, perception card came up. This is one of my faves. And the perception card, the story of this particular card, this girl goes through, it's like she's in a um, garden and everything's withered away and nothing in that garden is beautiful anymore and everything in the garden is sort of like dead. Then she comes, she sees a door. So she walks through the door and when she gets on the other side, it's a beautiful new garden, new life. It's like, it's like, she walked into the spring. So really, sometimes we're not seeing the opportunities that are right in front of us because we have the perception, the lack mindset of somebody who's in that garden that's withering, that everything's dead, but isn't life right inside the branches still? If you, if you cut a branch, it's still green on the inside. It's just waiting for the right nourishment so that it could bloom. So that's like a lot of us we have all this potential and everything on the inside and we're waiting for the right nourishment when the right nourishment the whole time was just simply changing your perspective and nourishing yourself wow that was deep um ability to see things differently and a chance at embracing transformation and it's funny because this comes over where the death card was here too um so now it's sort of like changing your perspective and embracing that transformation that's available instead of trying to cling on to the old. Like, let the old, let the dead lie with the dead. Let those old habits, those old perspectives, those old friendships, relationships, it might even be certain family members you're just not vibing with anymore. Let it die. Let it die and nur start nourishing yourself and start nourishing your authenticity. That's, that's really what the message is telling you. All right, and we got, and then with that shift in our perception, we end with the creation card, the she shaman, the wise woman, or the wise man, right? And this card is all about your uniqueness and your gifts and embracing them and becoming that wise being that you truly are um, and embracing this, you know, on a more holistic level. Don't you deserve, don't you deserve your uniqueness? Beautiful, beautiful. I will guide you to your muse. I I don't need to read this whole thing. I like these little ones. Letting go of old ideas and allowing new growth are primary now. The mission you have been on may be complete. So that old way of being, those old habits, that old lifestyle, you learned all that you needed to learn. It's time to move on. A new dawn is coming and it is time to open yourself to divine inspiration. So that's becoming, that's coming back. Oh, this is, this cycle is going to end so beautiful for so many people. That makes me happy because it was like all this fucking drama within even the self. And then you sort of end with like, we got the full card with our tarot cards with our Oracle cards. We're ending with the creation card is perfect. A new dawn is coming. It's time to open yourself to divine inspiration. So getting back in line with spirit. Let go. You no longer need to be the warrior. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing more to fight against. You've already won. You've already won, and now you have a whole new future that's opening up to you. So, I don't know who needed the message, but that is that beautiful, beautiful message of really overcoming, of letting go of the past, of letting go of who you used to be and stepping into your true authenticity for this ne next stage in life. Um, wow, wow, these are some beautiful energies that came through for this reading.
Um, all right, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. If you enjoyed this message and want to show your appreciation, feel free to um, drop a donation on the Cash App, Empress Isabel Montero. Uh, if you need your own personal reading, feel free to message me um, or email me, empressisabel.info at gmail.com. I love you guys, and as usual, take care. Thank you, my love. Mm-hmm. <laughs>